Alright, so Ryan made his video, so I guess I'll make my video. This is kind of my get home bag, my everyday carry bag, all at once. I work in Denver a lot of the time, so I spend a lot of time on the interstate. Um, and this bag, figure if I'm 125 miles away, um, it would take me a week or better to walk home if I were walking. So hopefully I could do it out of this bag. Um, if not, there's a lot of stuff in here that I that I use pretty much daily, just like he said. So, um, yeah, here we go. It's got all outside pockets on it with a, a big pocket to the inside. On the very bottom here, um, got a knife with an orange piece of string through it, so if you drop it, you can find it. Um, got my hatchet, little Fisker's hatchet with a rubber band on it. Those things are awesome. Um, the rubber band usually has a, a pen, a piece of a pen in it. Um, works really good to get um, embers into a, um, to flame up if you blow on it just right. Um, let's see, you always got to have toilet paper. Don't put all your ducks in, in a row. So you got to have two different bags of toilet paper there. Got some batteries in here um, and a little bit of... 550 cord and then in this back pocket here um, this is kind of my fire starting kit lighter matches and then it's a Capri Sun pouch um, they're actually made out of mylar and if you buy the old style ones with the mylar on the bottom as well get your kids to drink them um, this is actually filled up with dryer lint and then once you wash it out rinse it out with soap really good let it dry um, you can fill it up with whatever you want to put in there. So if you have a bigger one, you can put snacks in there. Um, I just figured it's a good way to keep my dryer lint dry. And then you just iron over the top of it. And it keeps everything nice and secure and dry. Um, let's see, there's another little pocket to the front here. Got cigarettes. Um, got extra mags for my Glock. I do have my concealed carry. I carry every day. It's Glock 2340 caliber. Um, also a set of zip tie restraints. Um, these can come in for all kinds of stuff, whether you have to secure something on your pack or if you have to secure somebody that may or may not um, be your friend or you just want to be able to watch multiple people and you can't watch their hands all the time. Um, I've got training with these. If you're not trained in them, you can actually hurt somebody really uh, bad by cutting off circulation to their wrists. So um, good thing to have. and for the weight of two zip ties. I like to carry them. Getting to the inside here. I've got my warm fleece hat. Um, it's double layered, so it's actually really, really, really warm um, since it is cold. I've also got my boonie hat in here. Um, I've got an extra 100 round box of ammo right here for the 40. I've got my headlamp. Um, I'm all for flashlights, but if you can keep your hands free, why not do it? Got an extra folding knife, permanent marker um, in case you got to write on something. Got a couple pens in here. I've also got battery-operated glow sticks. Um, I had to replace my my regular glow sticks. They were old. I cracked one and it didn't glow at all, so I got to replace them. Um, I also have just a couple regular writing pens in here. There's another glow stick, um, some hand warmers. I've got my GPS in here and a roll of electrical tape. I love electrical tape. Um, it's right up there with duct tape. Um, doing what I do in the EMS field, um, in the special operations medical field, um, I would actually take this over regular medical tape any day. It sticks to itself. Um, it's just a lot more durable than regular medical tape. You can use it for waterproofing seams, um, wrapping wounds, just pretty much anything you'd use duct tape for, you can use electrical tape for. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, I have a suture kit for your major wounds. Um, now keep in mind, you're like, why do you have a suture kit in your bag? This is, this is my everyday carry, it's my get home bag, it's my 72 hour bag, um, all that kind of stuff. So I want to be able to take care of a little bit. Um, heavier wounds than what you might what you might find with um, just trying to get home from work let's say if you live on their side of Sterling or 
other side of Denver. So if I'm going to be on the road for days, there's a lot of room for something to happen. Um, I want to be able to take care of that. And I have another pair of cigarettes or another pack of cigarettes. I probably better smoke those because I don't know how old those are. So I'll trade those out. And then let's see, side pocket over here. I usually carry an extra flashlight in here. Um, I've got a pouch that goes on my on my belt that's got um, rubber gloves in it. Um, whether you stop to help somebody, um, whether you got to dig through something pretty nasty for some reason, it's always nice to have rubber gloves. Um, let's see, I got a Leatherman that'll go on my on my belt there. Um, if I ever have to use it. I've got another one that I carry every day. It's actually Leatherman Wave. It's really nice. Um, and then I have my expandable baton here. Um, less lethal is always a good deal. There's a lot of times where lethal isn't um, exactly what you're looking for. It's not warranted. Also, if you're trying to move around, you don't want your presence to be known, but you get that stray dog um, or that person that you just want to keep back and maybe you just want to escalate the threat a little bit but you don't want to have to draw your weapon. These actually work really well. Um, this one's actually made by ASP and it's a 21 inch. I love it. Um, comes with a belt scabbard here and it actually has the bottom so that if you're wrestling with somebody um, you can actually just jam it in there and it'll still hold. It's got little holes in the bottom. so. Nice thing to have. It's kind of heavy, but if it's going to go on your belt, it's going to take the strain off your back. Going to the other side here. Um, this is kind of what I would call a sustainment pouch. Got some granola bars, a couple bottles of water, more granola bars. I did have some jerky in here, but it expired, so I gave it to my brother-in-law to eat because he'll eat anything. That's what's in there. Um, got a carabiner on the top here just in case you want to attach anything else like a water bottle. Um, you know if you want to hang something off there, if you want to hang a pair of socks to dry or something like that, you can always you can always use extra extra places to hang stuff. So now when we get into the big pocket, the one thing that I do like about this bag is it will zip all the way open. Take these support straps off the side. Um, it does have the chest, um, the chest strap as well as the waist belt strap. So that's that's really nice. We'll open it all the way up here. And so start out. Um, got my Sawyer mini water filter. Um, there's a bladder in here you can hook it up to. You can use it to drink right out of a puddle if you want to taste muddy water. Um, or you can screw it onto any kind of water bottle. So as I go through these water bottles, if I had to get more water, I would just fill these and drink it. Um, got some Polypro um, long underwear, pair of wool socks, um, little face mask in here. Obviously keep it dry. That way if, uh, if you're in wind or blowing snow or something, your, your face is not exposed. Got couple hundred feet of 550 cord. You never have too much 550 cord. Um, just a pair of dry um, cotton socks. Tent stakes. Um, I'll tell you why I got tent stakes here in a minute. This is my stove. Um, a lot of you saw my picture the other night with me cooking up some some mountain house on my stove. So it's pretty cool. Just folds out just like this. It's still got part of a fire tab in it figure why get rid of it if it's not all gone but comes in pretty handy weighs next to nothing um, in all reality I wouldn't keep it in the box if it didn't have metal edges on it I just don't want it cutting into my other stuff in here but um, got my metal canteen cup here that folds out it's got the lid um, on the inside here got I took a little sponge and just cut it in half to be able to clean it got extra bags, got plastic bags, and it's actually got two different cups on the inside so you can you can make two different meals with your with your one boiled pot of water. Um, let's see what else. Get that back in there. Uh, 
Oh, I'll put that away in a minute. Um, this is just a dollar store piece of painter's plastic. It's 8 foot by 12 foot, so if you're on the ground or you got to put it over you, um, this drop cloth will work really well, keeping the rain off of you, keeping you dry at least, um, getting you up off the ground. Um, found these at Walmart, emergency food ration bars. It's 2,400 calories are in this pack, and they're good for five years. They're vacuum packed. Um, it's not too heavy. I haven't tried one yet, um, but it says apple cinnamon. I've heard of people that have and watched videos with people that have eaten these on backpacking trips and such, and they say that they're not too bad. Um, just not a bad deal to, to have. I think this thing was like three bucks. So good thing to have around, throw a couple in the car. Um, on the inside here, it's got plenty of uh, compression strapping to keep all your stuff in the back here down. Um, got a got a poncho set here, keep you dry. Um, got a long sleeve shirt, and then I've got another t-shirt, an undershirt, a pair of underwear in there. So um, you don't always want to dress in layers, whether you get wet, whether it's getting cold, that kind of thing. You always want to have extras. Um, you know, keeping in mind that this is this is more than an everyday carry bag. So, um, as we move up to this front pocket here, this mesh pocket is going to be my food. So I've got your plastic silverware, um, napkins, salt, pepper, that kind of thing. I've got a couple of Mountain House meals, and I tried the stuff the other night. It's not bad at all. Um, these ones are lasagna with meatballs, and they are, um, I believe, these are two person pouches so um, yeah it says makes one cup servings per container two and a half so um, that would be a good meal got some salt and pepper in here um, cup of soup basically you boil water throw this stuff in there um, it's got little dehydrated chicken and noodles in it you make yourself a cup of chicken noodle soup and have some instant coffee in a bag here um, this is a pot holder, and so basically it's for if I have to cook over a fire and I have my my boiling pot there and it gets a little hot, um, I can put this over the handle. Doesn't weigh anything. It's actually for cast iron. I've got a couple of them laying around, so I just threw one in here. And then I've got a whole bunch of these Espit tabs, and these are what go in my stove. They're great fire starters. They're better than any of the kindling I could ever find. Um, Obviously, I'm not going to burn those if I can use my dryer lint from the front pouch and start a fire. I'm going to do that because these things are guaranteed to light every time. Um, and so those are really a, a backup option there. And so that's what's in there. Um, got a can opener just clipped to the front of the backpack here. And then up here is some more of your hygiene stuff. So I've got ibuprofen, anti-diarrheal, shaving cream and a razor, um, toothpaste, some ibuprofen, uh, moist wipes, that kind of thing. Kind of clean yourself up and some more moist wipes. So um, that's what I have.